G'day, Jason the Middle Aged Gear Junkie here. Today I'm going to be doing the first of three videos on how to assemble a pedal board. And I'm going to be focusing this video on where modulation pedals go in your signal chain. So I'm going to be using one drive pedal today, which is going to be the OCD by Full Tone. Terrific pedal if you've never tried one. And I'm going to look at all these different types of modulation and I'm going to put them first before and then after the drive pedal so you can see how they sound before and after drive and then you can make up your own mind. So this is only a suggested order but really what you should be doing is experimenting with this sort of stuff yourself to find out what works for you because what works for me might not be what you're looking for in your sound. So I'm going to start off with flanger. Now because flanger has a sweep to it, I prefer to put this in front of drive and the reason for that is anything that sweeps, by putting it after drive, what you're doing, the drive pedal quite often changes the EQ characteristics of your sound. It might shave off a bit of top end or bottom end and that reduces the amount of sweep uh, that your flanger is going to have. Now you may want that. Uh, in my case, I don't want that. I want it to have as large a sweep as I can get, so I put it in front of the drive pedal. comes to chorus, although chorus and flanger are similar, chorus doesn't have a frequency sweep. So I prefer to have this after drive because basically you are chorusing your overdrive, not driving your chorus. So I prefer to have it after drive. Now, similar to flanger, I like to have my phaser in front of drive or EQ because I don't want the drive or EQ to inhibit the phase sweep. So you get more of a phase sweep by putting it in front. <laughs> So there's a lot of opinions out there on where a tremolo should go in your signal chain. Personally, I like it after drive, but before delay and reverb. Thank you. 
Univibe is an interesting effect that there is a lot of different opinions on. Now, personally, I like it before drive. I like it because it, it sort of phases and swells before you overdrive and it gives you that sort of mushy sort of phasery type sound, which I really like. And because I put my phasers in front of drive, I do the same with Univibe, uh, but they also do sound very good after drive as well. Um, bear in mind, most Univibes are mono. This one is stereo, but typically most of your stereo effects tend to go after drive pedals. So if you were looking to use one in stereo, you'd probably have to put it after your drive. <laughs> So when it comes to rotary speaker, I like to think of the rotary speaker as an amp in a box. Um, so because of that, I tend to put it towards the end of my chain. I do put delay and reverb after it, but that's a personal choice. Some people go delay, reverb, then rotary speaker, uh, but you can put it in front of drives too if you like, and it still sounds good. But for me, I like to have it after drive, but before delay and reverb. So just recapping, I use flanger, phaser, in Univibe or before drive and I use chorus, tremolo and rotary speaker after drive. If I had a vibrato pedal I would put it here after drive. The order in which you place your modulation pedals is not particularly important unless you use them together. I personally don't. I might use phaser and chorus together uh, but I don't tend to use a lot of modulation together. Now the only other important thing are your stereo pedals. So typically speaking, if you're going to run a, pe a pedal in stereo, you would put that towards the end of your chain. So this is the third last pedal in my chain. It goes there, delay and reverb, all in stereo. So I hope you learned something from this video. I think the message out there for this video is to go out there and try these things yourself because you'll never know what you like until you try it. So get out there, play with your pedals, put them in different order and see what you can come up with. So my name is Jason. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and uh, please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time.